This short video will walk through how StealthWatch will help detect denial of service attacks. StealthWatch can collect flow data from WAN routers all the way down to access layer switches or any infrastructure device that can export flow information for accountability. By collecting flow data from the entire network, it allows StealthWatch to follow the packet as it passes through within the network. There are different types of denial of service attacks, such as Layer 7 attack, which is not necessarily high bandwidth, but targets the resources on a server to prevent the server from servicing any other request. To rate-based type of attacks, which can be distributed from hundreds or thousands of clients, all simultaneously targeting a server. These rate-based attacks often impact not only the target server, but also hosts that are sharing the same network. Denial of service attacks can be noticed in many ways such as reports of the network running slow, critical servers becoming non-responsive, to interfaces becoming saturated. In this example, we will walk through how StealthWatch detects an attack targeting your DNS server and a web application server. With your DNS server being attacked, it causes other systems relying on DNS to fail and is disrupting business operation as a whole. In this example, there are two types of attacks in progress. One, your DNS server of 10.10.30.15 is being targeted from over 2,500 internet hosts. And two, a web application hosted on 10.10.30.15 is also targeted by a single internet host. This internet host is running a layer 7 attack that is exhausting the number of client sockets that can be connected to on a server. The attack is not using a lot of bandwidth, so it is not impacting surrounding networks but it is preventing other hosts from connecting to the server due to the lack of resources. As StealthWatch collects flow from any source, it starts by monitoring the interface on the router or switch directly to understand what the interface utilization is. During a denial of service attack, it is common for a WAN interface to become saturated. You can see which applications are flowing through the interface, and we can see around 5 a.m. there is a drastic increase in DNS traffic that is taking the link to capacity. This impacts any other machine that is also hosted through this network connection because of this traffic increase. StealthWatch keeps track of how many hosts are active at any given point inside your network, which is indicated above this zero line, and outside your network. Around the same time interval, there is a drastic increase on the number of outside hosts connecting to our network. StealthWatch is also keeping track of different protocols that are in use within the network. Around the same time interval, there is a drastic increase in UDP traffic. As packets continue through the network, StealthWatch is able to model what applications are coming in and out of any given segment, such as a data center, and we can see a drastic increase in DNS traffic around the same time interval. Through the behavioral modeling provided by StealthWatch, we start to see denial of service type of alarms triggering, such as a slow connection flood, which detects a layer 7 attack, and 10.10.30.15 has been identified as a top victim. Let's start by seeing what traffic is passing through the WAN interface around 5 a.m. StealthWatch will break down what types of applications are passing through the interface, and we see a large increase in DNS traffic around 5 a.m. The tables on the right show active top conversations inbound and outbound on the interface. Notice that 10.10.30.15 is beginning to be reported as a destination host for several source hosts. You can pull back the top host behind traffic patterns. Over 74% of all traffic is targeted at 10.10.30.15. And we'll summarize the amount of bytes, packets, and flows between this host. We can see that there is over 2,500 flows with 2,500 unique peers targeting 10.10.30.15. All of the data observed so far helps explain the WAN interface saturation. The increase in host counts and the increase in UDP packets are all the results of 10.10.30.15 being the target of an attack. Let's view more details. The high DDoS target alarm triggers and prioritizes any time a host is under a denial of service attack. The security events that led to this distributed denial of service event was a UDP received alarm that showed the server received in excess of 7 million packets in a 5-minute period. The high UDP received alarm explains the increase in DNS traffic we saw passing through the network. And the server has an excess number of connections to it with over 2.6 million flows in a 5-minute period. Selecting the associated flows button for any alarm record will retrieve the conversations with the full details that led up to the distributed denial of service attack. 
to include the time of the attack, who the source and target were, how many packets and bytes are being sent in both directions, and where the host lives within the network. As you can see, StealthWatch is able to detect denial of service attacks by providing visibility into interface utilization down to establishing a behavioral model of how servers are behaving in the network. When the behavior pattern changes, StealthWatch is able to trigger an alarm to let you know who the victim of the attack is and what the impact of the rest of the network looks like.